Hi everyone, in today's video we are doing trying every fast food boba drink! Last year I actually did a video like this, but since then there's been actually a decent amount of fast food places that came out with boba drinks. So we are gonna try them all today. I actually heard good things about some of them, so hopefully we find some gems. But also in case that they're not good, I brought Bird with me because his standard for boba is very low and he will drink pretty much anything. Yeah. <laughs> So with that being said, let's head to the first stop. Woo! Why are you howling? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just got back from Wetzel's Pretzels and I think they launched these quite a while ago and we would always pass it in the mall and I'd be so curious but I'd be like if I try it I need to film it so you guys know if it's good and each of these drinks was seven dollars that's some big money you can get premium boba at a boba shop for seven dollars so, so we expect a lot out of Wetzel's Pretzels I don't know if we expect that much we expect a lot okay. we expect the best <laughs> okay also they started handing out these little pretzel bites the samples because they didn't do it during the panorama but now they started doing it again and before when I used to work at my tech job and Bird used to be at his old job We used to always get the free samples there. So that was a nice little memory and we also love free stuff Of course, we have to use our Feed Mei Mei glass boba straw. Take it away, Bird This is a environmentally friendly straw. It has two holes as you can see one two uh, Every straw has two holes. It's not a debate and this one is specifically designed for boba and it's really good and if you don't get it then well you should get it so that's it this is a big contrast to mom's boba straw advertisement last week let us know which one you prefer vote below mom or bird mom or bird bird bird, bird, bird. <laughs> we got the mango boba lemonade this one is like the freshly squeezed lemonade with the mango boba on the bottom Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. This is the true hack. If you guys have a boba drink with a lid, when you put the straw in and the liquid is coming out, this is what you do. So you take off the lid. Whoa! So what you do is you put the straw through the lid first. Ah. And then you put the lid back on. Ah. And see, see no spill. Whoa, it's definitely lemonade. I don't know why I wasn't expecting lemonade. You even told me it was lemonade. Yeah, that's but I didn't expect it to be so lemonade-y. Yeah, that's because it's lemonade. So I forgot to preface that I don't like popping boba. I don't really consider it boba because boba is supposed to be chewy. You know what it's more like? is like row fish, fish egg. row like yeah. ikura yeah so whenever i have these popping boba drinks i'm usually not a fan but actually since this one is mango mango is like my favorite fruit so it's better i still don't actually like the popping sensation though yeah this boba is actually not that bad this popping boba is actually really sweet you know it's either that or the drink itself the lemonade is really sweet if you were to put a warhead into a drink that's how i would describe this drink really yeah. but warheads hella sour you know how like when you eat a warhead it's like super sour in the beginning and then it becomes sweet, sweet yeah it's what it would be like in drink form is what I mean. I think this one's actually not as bad as I thought. Yeah, would you get it again? No, but <laughs> Ooh, why would I get it again? It was $7 and there's so many boba shops in the Bay Area. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, this one is the strawberry lemonade slush with mango boba. This one is not nearly as sour as the first yeah. one. I think the strawberry flavoring makes it sweeter. Yeah. It reminds me of when you go to like the fair mm -hmm. or like some sort of amusement park and you get like this kind of drink, you know, like a frozen strawberry lemonade. It very much reminds me of like this specific memory. You know what would be better than this though? A watermelon thing. Like Ooh, a watermelon. watermelon would be good. Like a watermelon slush with mango Ooh, boba. I feel like good. that'd be better. Like I don't, I'm not mad at it. The boba actually, it doesn't taste as sweet in this. Well, that's because this one, the drink itself is much more sour than this mm. so of course the sweetness of the boba is going to come out more in this right because of the juxtaposition between the sour mm. and the sweet that makes sense it's not as refreshing as i want it to be i like this one more though really than this one I you want to switch this one tastes sweeter really yeah i think this one tastes sweeter really because that one's sour <laughs> i drink that one and then it went <laughs> It was this one went to this one. Really? Yes. Because I, I saw the red go down this straw. That's very good. I'm literally crying. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next stop. All 
Alright, so we just went to Jamba Juice and it's actually funny because this particular Jamba Juice we went to is literally right next door to Sunrite, which is an actual legit boba shop. So it just kind of felt funny going into a Jamba Juice to get boba when there's an actual boba shop right next right. door. <laughs> Jamba Juice recently released strawberry popping boba and sweet, sweet tapioca, tapioca pearls. pearls. So that kind of implies that it's supposed to be like normal boba, like chewy. It's mini. Yeah, this wow. one's mini too. fun to eat. Bird particularly likes to get mini boba even at normal boba shops because right. he thinks it's fun to eat, but I personally don't. So I'm actually really curious to try this one because so far, all of the fast food boba places, they always use popping. They never use right. chewy boba. So I'm very curious about that. But first, let's start off with this drink. This is the Strawberries Wild with strawberry popping boba. I like Jamba Juice. I actually like Jamba Juice too. I remember when I was a kid, I used to go all the time. And yeah, was like, I like their pretzels. I don't think I've ever tried You never pretzels. had a pretzel from Jamba Juice? I used is to that get a that common thing? Yeah, the like little apple pretzel thing, the apple cinnamon pretzel. You never no, got that? Had that. Oh my god. Have you guys had that? Is that normal to get that? I used to get that Jamba and Juice? Pirate's Booty. There's like an experience of getting, you go to Jamba Juice, you get a drink, you get a pretzel, and then you end up with the Pirate's Booty. That's yeah. a whole meal. I would just go to Jamba Juice for a quick smoothie. Well, you weren't living. Comment below if you guys have tried Jamba Juice pretzels, because I have not. And I don't think that's I super think you're common. in the, I think most people have tried it. Are you sure? Comment below. We'll, we'll see. see, we'll see. We'll see. Settle this debate for us. It kind of tastes like if you're drinking a smoothie. Which you are. Yeah, and there's like strawberry bits in it. To me, it has a textural element of like a, a strawberry chunk rather than like a popping But it pops. Me. I know, but in context of the drink, like you don't really notice it pop. I guess I can see that. I mean, I still notice it pop, mm. but it's a lot less like- Apparent. Mm -hmm, because it's smaller. Right. It's kind of just like drinking a strawberry smoothie with a little extra oomph. Yeah. You know, better than I expected. I'd probably get it again. I think if it was normal size popping boba, I wouldn't like it as much. Is it because it's more fun to eat? Maybe, actually. It could be, right? Yeah. If you are new, whenever I drink or eat something, I have the scale, it's called fun to eat. And if something is more fun to eat, it significantly makes the drink or the food better. In his eyes. But I think a lot of people have fun to eat scales. I, th oh. I don't think I'm, it's a singular experience, but know. we'll see. I never had a fun to Comment eat scale. Comment below. Comment below. So our second drink is the gacha matcha, which is a matcha latte and this creamy stuff on top is like their sweet cloud foam. I wanted to order this one because I thought it would particularly go well with their sweet tapioca pearls if it's boba. Because mm. matcha and boba right, is like that makes a sense. good match. Wah! Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Whoa, what? This is the worst boba I've ever had. Damn, this is really bad. It's almost as if it's just completely hardened boba, yeah. like mini boba that you get at the boba shops, but they just put in the fridge, so it got really hard. Whoever is doing this boba is making boba look really bad. Like yeah. if I was to get boba for the first time here, I would never get it again. Never. Yeah, this is really bad. I'm okay with bad boba. I know. But this he, is bad boba. He will drink bad boba. You know how sometimes when you get like a boba in a can or something, uh -huh. and like that boba is really bad. This is like the worst version of this that. This is worse. Yeah. And so that's already bad. Yeah. Not chewy at all. It's hard. Even the matcha drink is not good. Yeah. It's like so bitter and it tastes like grass. And I'm not the kind of person that thinks matcha tastes like grass and this one tastes like grass. It doesn't taste like a good quality matcha. Oh no, that is not good. Would not recommend. You can go to Sun right next door and get a drink for six bucks. That'll be a million times better than this. Anyway, we have one more stop, which is the stop that I heard is good. So let's go to the last stop. Go! Okay, so we just stopped by the last stop, which was Pete's. They released this brown sugar jelly. So they're not calling it boba, but it's inspired by boba. So they originally tested it out with these two drinks, the matcha and the cold brew lattes, but they also have a fall version. This is the pumpkin cold brew oat latte, and it already comes with the brown sugar jelly on the bottom. It has some like kind of powder on the top. I don't know what that cinnamon. is. Cinnamon. Maybe cinnamon, yeah. It's really more like agar, but well, like crystal boba. It's jelly though. It's kind of like crunchy jelly. Not as crunchy as like lychee jelly, but it kind of has a similar crunch to how crystal boba does. Like it's not as smooth and silky as grass jelly, but it's not like as solid as lychee jelly. Right. It's like an in-between. I mean, it's definitely not the worst one we've had, toppings wise. It's not the worst one. I just don't know if I love the combination of the flavor profile. Yeah, I was gonna say that. In terms of the flavor of like the pumpkin plus the brown sugar jelly, I'm not, not sure I really it. like it that yeah. much. Yeah, I think I would prefer to have it without the jelly. I think we'll like the other two more. So this is the iced 
matcha brown sugar oat latte with brown sugar jelly. It's a long name. It is a really long name. Ooh. The peace drinks were definitely the most aesthetic out of all of them. I think so. Yeah. Because they all had the really nice like layering. Mmm. Mmm. This is a good drink. This one is good. Finally, after so many fails, we found a gem. I'm surprised that their matcha is so like creamy and yeah, good. It's way better than Starbucks matcha. Yeah, it's very rich. It has a depth of flavor. The body of it is very deep. You have no idea what you're talking no. about. I like it. It's creamy, it's matcha-y, it's sweet, and it pairs really well with the brown sugar jelly in mm. this drink. I agree. I think the one thing I would say though, imagine this drink with actual boba. In it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be better. But I actually do like the option of the jelly because the jelly is like lighter. So sometimes boba is like a bit too heavy or like dense. After you drink a whole cup of boba, you're like, oh, that was like a meal, like you're full, right. you know? This is more refreshing. Right. Do you like the texture of the jelly? I wouldn't particularly say I'm a fan of it, but I don't mind it. I guess especially since all the other ones were like either popping or that really gross jamba right. tapioca one. And I think this one, I would prefer it to those. I think if this jelly was a little softer, actually, less crystal boba type texture, Crunchy. but more like grass jelly Yeah, flavor. like silky. Yeah, then it would be really good, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I agree. So Pete's, if you're listening, hit us up. We got some good ideas. Got that one, I got a watermelon idea. <laughs> And talk to you I don't about. think Pete's wants your watermelon well, idea. I got other ones. Just you gotta contact me. Last but not least, we have this cold brew brown sugar oat latte with brown sugar jelly. Oh my gosh. Come on, hire me. I got you with the names. <laughs> the name is too long. It's an SAT phrase. Yes, I don't think that's on the SAT bird. Oh. It's been a while since you took it, so. We took it at the same time. And I also scored <laughs> higher than you, so that's this is, stop making this video about SATs. You anyway. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. What drink is this? Don't make me say the whole name <laughs> again. The coffee is really strong, but it's also really sweet. And it also has like a caramelly flavor to it. That's why I asked you the name of it. Because oh. I tasted the caramel and I don't remember that in the Yeah, name. that's not in the name. The cold brew is very smooth and strong and not too bitter, which is nice. And then the brown sugar jelly adds this like sweetness to it. I really like getting Viet coffee. Mm -hmm. It kind of has that type of flavor. Kind of. A little bit. Viet coffee is way stronger Yeah, though. way stronger. We've been sleeping on pizza. Yeah, we've been sleeping on Pete's. Well, not that we've never tried it before, right. but we like never go there. So if you guys are like us, definitely try out these drinks. Yeah. I feel like they're better than Starbucks. Yeah, for say. sure. Go Pete's. One, two, three. Pete's. Go Pete's. Oh, Wait, you oh sorry. Pete's. Okay, my time. One, two, three. Go Pete's. Pete's. <laughs> Okay, ready? No, no, I'm not doing no, it. I'm not doing I it swear it. to you. No, you fool me once. <laughs> <laughs> fool you twice. It's a shame on you, right? So I'm not doing it again. No, I promise you I won't fool you three times. I don't want your fool. I'll say go Pete's. I promise you. You no. lost my trust. You want to end the video on a not trusted note? It's your fault that come you on, lost come on, come my on. trust. Time's running out. Quickly, quickly. Three, two, one. Pete. <laughs> that was an accident though. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know if you guys have tried any of these, the Jamba, the Wetzels, the Pete's, or if there's also one that we missed. Missed, yeah. I tried to research like fast food boba and these are the ones I could find. I saw the Baskin Robbins one, but they stopped serving it. Otherwise I would have put that in this video. Mm. And yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up. And here's today's comment shout out. Thank you so much for your support. And if you want to be in the next video's comment shout out, make sure you comment something down below. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.